Well, you just never tire of looking at dolphins. They're one of the most incredible creatures on the planet. I'm out working hard, as you can see. I'm going to bring you 50 new episodes of iFish for Tackle World this season. Today, sit back and enjoy a small highlights package that I put together myself, some big fish and some fun times. This is just insane. That's insane! That is insane, Charlie! <laughs> I've just had a small fish on. Look at the, look at this rod! I just had a small cod on Trally, and something has eaten it. Oh no way! Oh look at this! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that is insane! Just a small fish wasn't doing much. And I actually upsized as I call it Trally. And this has been the order of today, hasn't it? That's mad. Oh. That was a couple of followers this morning. Yep. Same thing now. That's We've had incredible. Two fish have been followed by much bigger fish. Today, I put out a big lure, a deep dive, it was getting late in the day. What do we got here? Oh, look at the size of this, Charlie. Get the net. Oh, get the no net. Way. I've got two fish on. A bigger net. Get the net, Charlie. <laughs> get the net. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, I've got two cut on. Yeah! Ah. <laughs> I've got two cut! <laughs> Check him out. Charlie! Oh. You know what they say? <laughs> Two cods down in one. <laughs> Bring him over. This is insane. Lift him. Can you lift him? Hang on. Oh. oh my cod. Look at that. Check him out. <laughs> now, look at this. That is a monster Murray cod. Oh. And he's eaten my small one. Is the small one still alive? I think he's a bit worried. A bit? I think he's still alive, but I'm going to try and get a little one off because I want to get him back if I can. I want to get release both of these fish. Oh, oh look at that for a fish. Oh, check him out. Okay, little fish. Yep. Um, I don't know where he is. I'm, no. going to, I'm going to try and swim him, okay? Just bear with me for one second because I want to let this fish go if I can. He's still swimming, Charlie. He's going. Look, he's right. off. Look at that. Beautiful. Away he goes. Yep. He's actually swimming away. Thanks for your help, buddy. <laughs> uh, thanks for your tip. That's my yeah. favourite cod. Now look at this fish. Trelly, this is one of the greatest fish I've ever caught. How do we get that hook out of there? Oh, I cannot tell you, Stephen Trelfel, how excited I am, because I reckon I've just joined the meter club. What do you think? Oh, I think you're going very, very close. Now, a lip grip. I'm sorry for the excitement. Can we see a lip grip anywhere? All right. Thank you very much to my producer. And, oh, what a fish, just truly. Tip. Just pulling back up here, there that's it. And look at his head, he's got some, he's got some coloration yeah, issues there. Maybe it's a bigger cod down there that took him. Have we got a bigger lip grip? Now, I really want to get this hook out, but it's not going to happen in a oh, hurry, so. He's nailed that, hasn't he? Well, so, he's probably nailed the small cod. Oh, this is all I can do. Here we go. Just grab that net out, and we'll take our time here, because seriously, this, just watch your fingers there. Actually, grab yep. the pliers, Trelly. Okay. That's it. Got it. This is one of my greatest angling moments. Trelly, you've seen a lot of big Murray cod. Yeah, How have. big do you reckon this thing is? Whoa, 40 pound. This fish is a monster Murray cod. Let me just get that point across. And one of the greatest fish I've ever caught. Meter barra, 1,000 pound marlin. I've always wanted the big cod. And Trelly? Unbelievable. And that little one that's down the back there, he's not going to get any sleep tonight. <laughs> I think he's a little nervous. <laughs> Fairly thick, there's a lot of salmon in this hole here. Oh, this one's taking a bit of string, it might be better. Yeah, if we can get anything around four or five pounds, it'd be really good. Now, being a publican, everyone thinks it'd be the greatest job in the world, but I know, I saw how hard you're working last night. Yes. It'd be a stressful job. Is this how you just sort of get away from it all, come for a walk down here and have a few casts? Yeah, the bit, I mean, the best thing about living where we do is we can quite easily, within five minutes of home, come down and find a beach like this. And you yeah. know what, if I lived in Adelaide and I knew it was only a four hour drive to come and have fishing like this, I'd be doing it. You would. A lot of people do. I mean, it's fantastic. A lot of people come down here for a holiday, bring the kids. Marion Bay, I am loving you today. Here we go. Look at that for another fish. Oh. <laughs> and the perfect release. Now, watch this fish go. Watch him go. See you, mate. Oh, look at the shark. I've got one. It's on your fish. 
There's a shark on his fish, look at that. Taking me off, taking the whole thing. Look at that, a massive whale oh, shark. Back He's back on, a whale shark has come in. He's just out there. Look at him in the waves. Oh, oh, it's a dolphin. It's actually a dolphin now. I reckon there's a dolphin and a shark in there, there's mate. a dolphin and a shark. And I've got to ask, what do you think the purpose of that was? <laughs> it's pretty amazing seeing him come in that back close. Oh, look at this fish. He's... <laughs> oh, look at him go. That's a bit better fish, this one. Come here. Come here, mate. You start to get complacent when you just catch <laughs> fish after fish. Come on. And you forget that that is just an incredible fish. And anyone will be happy to walk down the beach and catch that, go home and have a good feed, and most importantly, remember this day for a long time to come. This one, this one, this one, I can watch Yep, this one. <laughs> Ow! Christy, grab it, Christy. Okay, well done, Christy. I feel pretty privileged to be winding this fella in. Oh, oh my god, look at it! That's a big char, is it? <gasps> Take your time over this side, I think. This is a big fish. Which way over? Just, that's it, just keep him away from the boat. Keep the rods about there. That's it. Oh, easy, just take your time. We're wearing gear. Ove's now knocked it out of gear. Slowly wind it, get ready for the big. That's a nice fish. Just when you get a chance, just slowly bring him towards, pull the rod tip up, up towards the front. Yeah! <laughs> that is a big char. Oh, oh my god, that is incredible. Oh, he's a big fish, Christy. When I say he, it's she. a girl. <laughs> oh, look at this fish, Christy. That's a monster. Oh my god, have a look at that Arctic char. <laughs> the most beautiful looking fish. He's a good fish. Look at him working out the back there. He's a good fish. Yeah. Look at him pounding that snag. Yeah. He's actually not as big as I first thought, Chrissy, but he's hooked in the side of the cheek. Okay. And it's making him, oh, he's pretty big. It's making him very hard to angle as such. How's a bend in that rod? I never thought I'd have a bend in my rod like that from a Saratoga. I'll come around here. Look at that, Look Christy. How wide it is. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice. horse. Love your work. Well, thank you, my love. Just gonna hold him with the yep. fingertips taller. He's not gonna open his mouth this week. No. That's a big toga. Yeah. Well done. Oh. I cannot tell you how that? exciting hey? that fish is. A prehistoric monster. That is a big Saratoga. And I'm gonna yeah. say, Christy. I'm loving Staten River. <laughs> I'm even loving grooves just a little bit. <laughs> Not too much, I hope. <laughs> that, seriously, is as good a Saratoga as you could ever hope to catch. And to do it on mainland Australia, at Staten River, I reckon that's pretty special. Do yourself a favour, call Angling Adventures, put yourself in this picture. You could be standing just there somewhere, because this place <laughs> is unbelievable. This is fast becoming one of the better days fishing I've ever had. 
And I just can't do a thing, it's a stalemate. And there comes a time where you just let the fish take line as it is now and you just wait for him to lift his head a bit. Sometimes you can use a swell to do it, but at this stage I can't. I'm just gonna slowly see if I can lift this fish up. It's actually swimming into the current, which is quite incredible. Here it goes, just turn. Oh, that is a beautiful fish. That's a nice sailie, hey, look at that. Look at the power still after this fight. And I'll jump in and grab this fish. It's still in really good nick. Come on, mate. Excuse the tail. The bass is a romping sail. And I am pumped. Benny, jump in here and help me, mate. It's too big. Well, what a day we've had. We've got them all the way, haven't we, mate? Yeah, we did it. From the tackle rat combo to the nano to the T-curve. Get yourself involved in some of this. Dad, get the net, get the net. The net, the net. Oh, I don't think we need the net. I think we'll just have a look how big it is first. Keep whining. What do we got here? Jet? Where? You've got a beautiful whining. Stop whining, that's a monster whining. Come here. And another one followed it up. Jenny! Look at that, buddy. Look what you caught. Oh. That is a huge King George whiting. Guess what, mate? Come here. What? Guess what? what? Come here. Another whiting swam up behind this one. I thought you had two, but only one was on the hook. Well done. Can you put it in the tank? We can. Let me just grab it properly. Oh. And you see the way that whiting's going nuts there, Jet? See how he's doing that? Yeah. That's because they're so strong. And in some parts of the world, a big whiting's called a kidney slapper. You know why? What? Because it slaps. Because it slaps your kidneys. When you try and hold it, it goes bang, bang, bang with its tail. Isn't that pretty? And when it does, it looks like it has two tails. It does, doesn't it? Because it's going so quick. Look at that little circle hook there. You just got him. Oh, he's waving goodbye. Mate, we'll put the tank on. And I've got to say, we've been here for like two minutes, Jetty. And you've already caught a fish. I, I told you it was a good place to fish. <laughs> Ah, uh, Dad, I'm going to turn the tank on. Okay. How much one do you think? <laughs> How cool is that? Yeah, grab the tag while Brett and Gary can steer a bit left. A bit left, a bit left. We're well over an hour into this fight now. And the fish has settled in and so have I. It's a bit like a big game of AFL or rugby, the grand final, the first five minutes is left. Everyone's just doing crazy stuff. They're that excited to get the ball, the adrenaline kicks in. Now the fish has settled down, I've settled. And the whole crew is just waiting for the opportunity to try and get a tag in this fish. We're going to tag the fish because that's a great thing for research. If it gets away, then we've done our job. In the perfect world, we'll tag the fish. I'll be able to get it back to the boat. We'll bring it on board and we'll collect the samples we need. That's a little bit of swell we use there. Bit more, bit more to the right, that's it. Is that the skin off our bait? Yeah, it's fine. I'm sure pumps made in Elliot the leader. Sure pumps for Elliot there, mate. Watch the duck rod. Don't touch the duck rod. Where is he, boys? There he is. Take your time, boys. I'm just picking up the leader. Nice and gentle, get that tag in when we can. We want to make sure this fish does what it's got to do. Such tense moments, I just want to get a tag in this fish. Coming up. You've got to dump him, just dump him. I've got the drag back, right back, fellas. This is amazing. 
I haven't even seen the fish yet, but I'm assuming it's a pretty big tuna. And we're going to drag the fish on board, we're going to take its life humanely, and then we're going to get back to port. Look at this, one, two, three, four, five guys trying to land a fish. I'll just back my leader off. I want to see this fish. Come on, work together. This is a call. Somebody. Ready? Oh my god. Oh my god, look at the size of this fish. Look at it. Oh! Sorry, mate. Now, do you dislike me immensely because I'm throwing a little bit of plastic around? No, not at all. You I'm sure? It's, it's been a bit of an eye opener for me. Really? Oh, just, you know, you sort of focus in on one thing. I think for, particularly for kids with it, throwing a little minnow you know, around like this, it's oh, how, so how much. Oh, 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 he's got some go. Look he's at this fish here go. in the water. Check out the size of that dorsal fin. And it's just sticking up. When they catch these fish in the lakes, I think you call it sharking at times. Yeah, the dorsal. bigger lakes, yeah. There he is, just here. You see him high in the way. No, just, you're right. Slide him over. Slide him, okay. Probably a bit easier to get that lure stuck in the net. And there we go. And that's just a great technique for landing a fish. Well done. And mate, I am very, very excited because the lure is doing okay. And when I say the lure, that there is a very small Yozuri pins minnow. And even though you're a fly fisherman, you like that, don't you? I do. I'm really impressed. I might have to get me some of those. You know what? I know where you can find one. Oh, fantastic. And I'll look after you on the price too. <laughs> I've just hooked myself as well. Oops. Oh, and a pair of flies. <laughs> They've just flown from outer space now. Just stay there, Mr. Trout. Don't wriggle. Don't wriggle. There we go. Well done, mate. Well done. He's pinned beautifully in the corner there, isn't he? Hence the pins, you know. Let's see how we go. Oh, they come out quite good, don't they? How good is it to see a trout rise, throw a hard body at it and get oh, the bite? Oh, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm going to ask a really serious question here, Justin. Mm -hmm. What is it about brown trout, salmono trutter, I believe, mm -hmm. that gets your blood racing? The hunt. It is? The hunt. And then, I mean, look at it. Look at the colour on it there. That is just... Yeah. And you get to put it back. That's do it exactly all again. right. Well, I'm going to do I'm going to put this fish back now. Sorry, my back. friend. I'll just sneak through and put this fish in here. We don't want to keep the fish out of the water too long. Look at that big gulp of air. I'll just hold him for a second. And the great thing about a fish like that, he'll go when he wants to. Oh, you're going to go? There you go. Look at that cruising away. How's that for camouflage? And you see the red gills just opening as he gets that oxygen. That is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Oh, I think I've got a bite, Paul. Yeah, hey, did I bend in your rod there? Oh. Well, eight kilo tuna just disappeared down the throat or something. And whatever it is, it's just woken up, hey? Yeah. Now, this is not the traditional technique for rod no, and reeling, is it? No, but I probably should sit in the chair, but... Is it working for you, or do you want to jump in the chair? No, that's okay. Ooh, now he's thinking about it. <laughs> probably got about 40 kilos of drag on there. I've backed it off a bit, because he's clear of the bottom. I'm going to risk pulling the hook, ripping the hook out. That's probably why he's not pulling a little line, because <laughs> 20, 30 kilos of drag, hard to pull against. Oh, look out the back there. Oh! Oh, it's a big... It's a big dog. Look at the size of this thing. That goes up. That is just a horse. Oh, where's this? 
That's one of the biggest fish I think I've ever seen. Oh my God! Look at that! Excuse me, I'll grab the leader. Grab the leader? In the mouth, mate. Uh, we won't need to open the door for this. Yeah, we're going to need to open the door. <laughs> that is a monster dog. It actually makes my dog, oh no, look small, and he's a massive dog. Okay. Hey. That's a doggy. That's hey. a doggy. Georgie, Georgie, Pudden and Pie <laughs> caught the dog tooth. I am not Have a look at that. <laughs> Man. That is a fish. Well, as you can see, George and I have both donned the gloves. We might try and pick this beast up. But first, I must ask, a fish this big, renowned as one of the best fighting fish in the world, why didn't it pull that hard? Well, the fat pig swallowed a seven or eight kilo yellowfin ball. He's probably swimming around wondering what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> and as he's come up, he's received a bit of barotrol. You see there's some scars there where his stomach is blown up. And when he did come up, his stomach was big and round. It happens to deep water species. A unique fish, the fish of a lifetime. Congratulations, George. And just take a second to look at a dog tooth tuna because very few people on this planet will ever see one in the flesh. They're an incredible carnivore. How's those teeth? Why do they call them dog tooth, Paul? Very good question. Look at the fangs on that. Beautiful fish. The people in the village are going to be very, very happy campers. Oh, Congratulations, mate. Thanks, mate. Great work. Now, let's see how strong you are. <laughs> Don't get the light in. Yeah, you can get it on now. Oh. Oh, look at that for a fish. <laughs> Well done! Oh, Kingy mate on the popper! Yeah. Hang on to it, son. Hold on. How good's that? Greg's casting a popper and just had a Kingy smash it right at the rocks. Haven't even had a chance to get a bait out yet. That is insane. Oh. How the pressure is. Oh. Oh. Walk around on oh, free spooling, Captain. Yeah. Free spool. Get under me. Hopefully, this fish will swim away from the rocks here. Because he just ran straight up along the edge. Yeah, he swam away, mate. Let him go, let him go. He's swimming right along the edge. That, oh, that, that hurts. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky individual. So what Greg has done, he's opened the bail arm because if the fish doesn't feel pressure, there's a chance it'll swim away from the rocks. But I reckon if you get into the outcrop, you might be a chance. Oh, hard work. You can't back up on these fish. And that's why people love this rock fishing, because it's against the elements. And every fish is worth about 10 from a boat, isn't it, mate? Yeah. Go, Paulie. Oh! I've got a fish oh, on here! Oh, I hope so! <laughs> <laughs> That's a big oh, yeah. king off the rocks! That's oh. it. That's it. King on a popper, third cast, I think. <laughs> Look at that. And not a bad, not a bad gaff shot through the jaw there. Oh. Greg, Ooh. grab your fish, mate. Pick up that fish and hold it to the camera, because that is... Jervis Bay off the rocks. A cracking kingfish off the rocks. Six kilo. On a popper. We saw it happen. That was good. It was a good strike. Now, that bite uh, reminded me a little bit of the walk down the track. <laughs> yeah. Except I think the walk down the track was tougher. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How insane is it that people can come to Jarvis Bay and catch Fish like this, Moving game fish. Off the boat, off the rocks, out of rubber boats. <laughs> Insane. Oh, he's a fighter, as my boy would say. That is so cool. Oh, he's got his mate with him, look. Beautiful. Oh, look at the size of that. That's a jack. Oh, no, that's a mangrove jack. Yeah, they come up here too. Oh, beautiful mangrove jack. I can't believe it's like fishing paradise. That is so cool. And this is a beautiful jungle perch. And Tom, he ate that popper down. He ate it good. The old Yozuri Eva popper is G-O-N-E gone. Have a look at this. Hopefully he doesn't spit it out when he jumps. And he is a big fish. Look at that. Nice, solid fish. That is an absolute corker. Come here, my friend. Look at the way he has swallowed that. Oh, that popper. Calm down, calm down. And that is a magnificent Example of a jungle perch and Tom Winkworth, let me just say I've had a fantastic day. The weather always is.
this good, Morton? It's perfect condition for garfish. They like this, do they? Yeah. It's very clear here. And you were very specific about this spot. Now, even though we've got the highway, trains and a bridge, yeah. you like this because why? Because there's a lot of garfish. That's a very good reason. <laughs> Morton, this rod you give me is so long, yeah. by the time I've threaded all the guides, I'll be in Norway. That's a good trick, isn't it? <laughs> I'll be on the other side of that bridge. <laughs> I've got to say I'm a bit concerned. That lure looks nothing like a Yozuri, and that cotton looks nothing like an eagle claw. But he tells me I can still catch a fish. What a fish! Look at the bend in this rod from a garfish. Wow, come here, my garfish friend. Oh. Look at that for a garfish. Now, where I come from, I would call this a long tom, but it is a cold water fish, and our long tom are a hot water fish. So I'm not sure of the exact species, but either way, I'm told they're very good eating. The Danes just love them. Any time you catch a fish on the first cast and you're not using hooks, it's got to be a pretty cool thing. I put a bait down. Oh, and it got nailed straight away. Big fish come from everywhere. What we actually did there, we held the bait at the surface. And the theory was, as I'm just knocking away here. The theory was if we held it at the surface, there's a chance the fish wouldn't be able to get back down to the reef. It is under the boat, TK, so you won't see it. But as soon as I get a good look at it, I'll be sure to tell you exactly what it is. What are you thinking, Dennis? GT. GT, look at the colour. Look at that colour. That is a big fish. Big fish, so just take our time here. Gonna back the drag, back just a little bit of a turn in case he goes. Oh my goodness me, this thing puts the G in T. Look at that. Look at that for a fish. And he's just hooked in the lift, Dennis. I'll bring him round. He's just hooked, so you have to grab him by the tail. You right there, Dan? <laughs> Holy snapping giant Trevelli. You know what I'm going to say, Dennis? First, I'm going to shake your hand. That is the biggest giant Trevelli I've ever caught. Um, if I could have a glove, I want to pick this up and show the people just how insane it is. Uh, actually, if you just slide, slide the fish up onto my arm, that is a big fish. That's it. I've got him. Matt is what you come to Mission Beach for. I am so pumped. If you've seen the pain we've gone through this morning, have we, Dennis? Come and stand here with me, mate. It's been severe. It has been severe, but this is why we keep coming fishing, because fish like this, they're fish of a lifetime. The pain we've been through, but we got there, didn't we, mate? <laughs> in the end. Oh, that is so cool. Put yourself in this picture. Remove Paul Worsting, put yourself with this fish, and imagine the stories on Monday morning. You go back to work and say, hey, guys, around the drinking fountain. Look what I did on the weekend. That's a big fish, this one. It is. It's now, sitting there going, oh, I don't, I'm not impressed with this one. I've got to say something too. Men's Sports called the last one 25 kilos. I reckon it was about 30. That was a big fish, mate. It was. And this one doesn't feel any smaller, just quietly. It actually looks a bit bigger, I reckon, judging yeah. by the weight. <laughs> How's the lower back feeling? Yeah, lower back's OK at this stage. Now, the first one I'm tipping was 30 kilos. If this is a Samson fish, and there's every chance that it is, it's a it must be about fish. 60 kilos, Shane. Oh, it's just a very big fish, Ports. How big have you seen them? Uh, biggest I've seen is 40, 40 kilos. 
That's very close to 100 pounds. And Shane, you're not a young man anymore. How are you getting through this, mate? Uh, I'm trucking. I'll, I'll get there. But... <laughs> you're going to take up, uh, renew your membership at uh, Lifestyle? <laughs> Lawn bowls. <laughs> oh, it's a really big sandbar. 40 kilos, mate. Shane, that is monstrous. That's the biggest sense of fish I've ever caught, mate. That, it's high 30s into the 40s, I'd say. That is a beast. Now, we're going to release this fish. Yes, we'll release the fish. Uh, what do you think the safest thing? I'll just put a gaff in his jaw and lift him over the side? And... Well, we've been talking... Yeah, yeah we'll, 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 we'll drag him in through the gate. Yep. I'll, I'll, that, I'll put the deck watch. That is a don't beast try and, don't of a try fish. Don't try and grab me the trace, mate. I've oh, got hardly any grip here. I just want okay, to... Okay, hang on. Let me through and I'll try and grab his head. Oh, hurry up. <laughs> Only just got him. Just get the his gill. I've just got only half a grip on this. OK, go get a better grip. Get his jaw if you can. I've got his jaw. All right. Yeah, I've got his jaw. All right. Just very, very, very successful. Grab, if you can grab his tail. Whoa! Shane Mensor, that is a big sandbag. Come around here. Is that ain't 40 kilos like I'm riding right here right now? Well, you know what? We are going home right here right now, but it is 40 kilos. Herbie Glacken, SA Fishing Adventures. My second best friend. <laughs> Shane Mensforth, SA Magazine, and Paul Worsling from the sunny state of Victoria. This is what fishing in South Australia is all about. Get yourself here, get on this boat, because that is a fish of a life. Come on up, my friend. Thank you very much. Bye, uh, Joe. Christy. <laughs> keep, keep, wine, wine, wine. Oh! That's on that fancy lure. Woo! Woo! Gee, that might be the one, Christy. What is your magic barramundi touch today, I'm miss? Not, I have no idea. I'm, I'm going to go with it, though. I'm taking it all the way. Um, but, yeah, there's something keep going wine. on in my waters today. <laughs> it is unbelievable. She's making me look like an absolute L-O-S-E-R. This fish is going to jump in. Hey, look at that. Oh, that's a big oh. fish. That's a big barramundi, Christy. Just slowly lift him up and pull his head towards this net. Just slide the head towards the net. And yeah, Yay! mate! <laughs> That's what I call paradise. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. That is a cracker barramundi. And then no matter where you are in the world, and that is what <gasps> you go barramundi oh fishing for. Oh, my God. <laughs> this. It's a good fish. It is a very, very good fish. What do you say? This is quality with a capital K. This is cool. Yes! <laughs> Kate Grooves, if you can get the uh, the fish mat yep. and the grip. There you go. Christy, I think you're going to be very excited when this thing slides I out of this I'm net. I'm already excited. <laughs> can you <What>? tell? <laughs> wow. That is a big barramundi. <laughs> OK, Christy, I'm just going to... Lift this fish over. <laughs> Look at that for a fish. Whoa, careful, careful, careful. Look at that. Christy, that is Do you insane. want us to take the hooks out? We will in a second. Let's just see how we go here. Ta-da. You've done it! <laughs> Christy, it's official. One metre and a little bit. <laughs> Taking that. One, one, the number Christy. one. <laughs> it's all about you. <laughs> Thank Good you. Good on you, mate. So there is Christy's. One metre plus barramundi from State and River. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the water dial and Thank you can do the honours. Thank there you. There you go, just grab that grip. And yep. can you lean over far enough? Yep. Just try and ride it up. And she's all yours when you're ready. Okay. See you later. That is what I call magic. <laughs> it's coming up, boys. It's going to jump. There we go. Look at that angle on the line. Keep going back a bit. Going back. Here he comes. What Greg's actually doing, he's using the water snake. He's backing up on this fish. And see how the angle of the line is coming up? Much easier to catch a big fish when he's on the surface than when he's out a million miles or straight down. Here he comes. He's just shot out to the left. He's going to jump, boys. Straight. There he is. Oh! Big block! How big is that fish? Yes! <laughs> That's a big black mound. It's coming up. Here he comes. Here he comes. A bit out to the left. Here he comes. Oh! What a jump. That's amazing. He's not that far away. 
I can see the wind on leader. The wind on that's so close. I can't believe I'm sitting in a little boat and you're fighting a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Full colour. You're going good, mate. You're going good. This is a magnificent fish. Oh, look at that thing. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm going to go to the leader. OK. OK, Paulie. Paulie, we got a marlin next to the boat, mate. Is that drag off? Yep. That drag is off. Yep. You pulled uh, it? I've got a glove. OK, I've got it. I've got it. Oh! 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 Down this way, mate. Oh, got him. Oh, my God. Kick the motor in gear. Kick the motor in gear. How's the size of that? That is a beast of a black marlin. Uh, what an incredible experience. This fish is bigger than our boat. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah. That's 150 yeah. kilos of black marlin. Yeah. In 2.7 metres of boat. Earn a turning way, old man the sea, <laughs> it's the hardest! <laughs>